back everyone hope you had a wonderful day and you're hopefully enjoying the sunshine too in the warmer temperatures we topped out so far at 58 degrees that will likely become the official high for the day that is the warmest we've had in des moines since november 1st felt a little warm out there this afternoon but i think very welcomed for a lot of folks perceptions very very nice and we do have nice temperatures on the way as well we've got 51 right now in fort dodge 54 in ames 51 in grinnell and it is a little bit milder down in the tumble as well with the upper 50s. Plenty of sunshine out there. Not a cloud in the sky yet again. We had no cloud cover yesterday, none today. That will change going into the day tomorrow. I do want to plan out your evening for you. It'll cool off a little bit quicker because there is no cloud cover. We'll be at 47 by 7 p.m., 41 degrees by 9 o'clock. And if you will be out late this evening, temperatures will be in the upper 30s by 10 and 11 p.m. So definitely pack a light jacket with your sweatshirt, even though it was so nice out there today. We are going to fall to 32 overnight with the clear skies and then a few clouds will move in after midnight that all out in advance of our next rainmaker that unfortunately could dampen the weekend again. We're looking for mid 50s for highs tomorrow increasing cloud cover throughout the day. I think we get sunshine early then clouds by the afternoon rain for the evening. So what does that mean for those March Madness games folks that will be downtown? You'll want an umbrella tomorrow night. 51 degrees expected Sunday with rain off and on throughout our day. It's this big upper level low pressure system that'll be bringing Bringing that in, the cloud deck starts knocking on the door early tomorrow morning. It'll be cloudy through our afternoon, and then the rain showers coming in for the evening. Here's a closer look, hour by hour tracker for you. By 3 p.m., it'll just be overcast. By that point, though, the showers will start to develop in southwestern Iowa. We will see that rain pushing closer to central Iowa, and right about 10 p.m., as the second game likely lets out of well, we're going to be looking for those scattered showers. It'll be continuing around through midnight and through most of the overnight hours. Then we'll We'll be dealing with scattered showers off and on through the day on Sunday as well. It'll become a little more scattered through the afternoon. I think the greater chance on Sunday is going to be early in the day, but nonetheless, it could be wet off and on throughout the day before it totally pushes to our east going into Monday. We've talked about the games that'll be happening tomorrow. I do think by the first tip off between Michigan and Florida will be okay. Dry with a temperature in the mid 50s, still good for hoops and hops. By the second game, though, we could be dealing with those scattered showers. We will be looking for a high near 56 degrees tomorrow and then we're tracking those rain chances of course through the weekend with about a quarter inch expected for most areas and we are eyeing a chance for a few storms next week. Here's a look at the next 10 days. We'll be pretty dry going into Monday and Tuesday, a little bit cooler. We will be keeping a close watch on the threat for a few thunderstorms by next Thursday. It's still far away so stay tuned as we bring you more details on that in the coming days. Jacob, Matt.